Welcome in Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is Uma B coming to you with your February Tarot Scope. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm here to do your Tarot Scope reading for the month of February. <clears throat> and we're going to first start with your affirmation for the month. The affirmation for the month is, I am proud. I deeply love and accept myself. I trust the universe has beautiful plans for me. So as we start off the month of February, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, we find that you are beginning to let go of the need to control things and you're allowing yourself to take a back seat, allowing the universe to drive the car. You're understanding that there is a plan and the plan is beautiful. And all you have to do is let go of your resistance and just enjoy the ride. So be proud of your life, of the plan that the universe has for you, because we're about to see some major shifts in the month of February for you. You have a goddess and the goddess that chose you, beautiful Cancerians, is the goddess Ishtar. She brings a message about boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others' demands on your time and energy. The message from Goddess Ishtar is, a sincere desire to give of service is wonderful. However, there's a distinction between giving of yourself and giving up yourself. If you feel tired, guilty, or resentful while helping others, then you're not truly helping them, are you? You're injecting poisonous energy into the relationship and then no one benefits. Step back and reassess the situation. As you respect your own boundaries, others will begin to recognize and respect them within you and within themselves. Now that's a healthy behavior to teach to others. So for the month of February, you are finding your boundaries. I have a, a couple of Cancerians in my life and I'm just laughing because that is usually my talk to them. What it's about is honoring your boundaries. Cancerians, sun, moon, and rising, you have a beautiful heart. And you care deeply about everyone around you, especially those that you love. But sometimes you have to know when to say no. If people are not going anywhere, if they're wasting your time and your energy, if they're listening to you but not really hearing you, or vice versa, I think, it is time to step back and invest your energy in those that want it or desire it. The crystal for the month for you, Cancerians, is Jade with a message of wellness. This crystal announces improved health and wellness with a focus on recovery. An increased commitment to healing yields positive results. A multimodal approach to health, including prayer, faith, and optimism, is indicated and appropriate right now. This is also a sign that your own work to help others is flourishing. The guardian angels are working through your intentions to bring healing energy to your loved ones. So this is a great card because this is saying that not only are you healing yourself this month, but you are also healing people around you. So the more you invest in your self care, the more things are going to get better for you. Now let's get into your reading and see what is coming up for February. We have the Foundations and Achievements card, and this is clarified by the King of Swords and the Ace of, sorry, the Six of Pentacles. Your home life is about to be on the up and up and improving in the month of February, Cancerians. The Six of Pentacles tells me that you have been giving, 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 and now it is time for you to receive. The King of Swords tells me that you are getting out of your emotional mind and moving into your logical mental mind. So this is good news. Cancer, we know that you are one of the most feeling zodiacs in the zodiac table. So. This is saying that you are on track to establish your home life, your family life, but it's going to take a combination of you using your logic over your heart and being open to receiving and not just giving. 
you will have plenty of opportunities this month to receive. Allow yourself to be open to the receiving energy. The next card, Cancerians, that we have for you is the Power card. We find that most of you are finding your footing and stepping into your birthright of being a strong and powerful presence, not just for yourself, but for those around you. The Power card is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune and the High Priestess. Cancerians, you are a water sign, and the water signs are known for their highly psychic and intuitive nature. This tells me that in February, you will be trusting your intuition more. And because you will be acting on, your in, on that intuition, the Wheel of Fortune will move favorably in the direction you want it to go. Keep believing in what you see and what you know. The best thing for you this month, Cancerians, is to carve out some time to meditate, to quiet the mind, because I find in February, you will be highly psychic and you will be getting a lot of messages. Your final card for February is Obstacles and Challenges. This card is clarified by the Hermit and the Magician. Now remember, this is a general reading. So for some of you, I feel that you're going to be going into hermit mode this month, avoiding the drama and trauma of other people. Some of you are reflecting on the past where you've had that drama already happened. And in that hermit space, you're learning what you did and didn't do and reassessing for the future. So when this happens again, either with the same person or other people, you'll know exactly what to do. For others, you will experience some drama and trauma this month. It is advisable for you to take some time away from the loud noises of others and allow yourself to spend quiet time with spirit. You have a manifesting energy around you and the greatest way to access this energy is to spend time with spirit so that you can be clear on what you are manifesting. Moving forward without a plan is not ideal because you can manifest your worst nightmares. Be very clear this month, Cancerians. You have a lot of opportunities to up-level in your personal, private, and professional life. And I really feel that this is a month for you. I don't see so much about relationships I know some of you are looking for a relationship, but the best thing I can tell you is that if you take this month to work on yourself, to put up your boundaries, to become clear about what you want and don't want, then possibly in March, we can see a shift in the energies, bringing in new love or returned love. Right now, the focus for you, Cancer Suns, Moons, and Risings, is yourself. Allow yourself to open up the power that is within you. Allow yourself to shine. Allow yourself to grow in your personal life and then you will be on a vibrational level to attract all that you desire. Remember, I am proud. That is your affirmation for the month. You deeply love and accept yourself and you trust the universe has beautiful plans for you. So think of this month February as a time for you to get very clear on what is your priorities. Not about the priorities of other people. Remember the boundaries card. Start your wellness routine. Remember the jade card and get your stuff in order. Because I have a feeling that for March, we're going to see a very different reading for you. Thank you, Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising for listening to me. Please show your support by subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and if you can, drop a comment and let me know how this video resonated for you. Thanks guys, I'll see you next month.